Hmm. All right, then. Here she is. Freezer Pro 7. She served, she served me well. It was a good CPU, uh, it was a good heat sink. Really nice. The other thing I didn't like about this thing is I hate these, uh, pin things. They suck. You can't, it's almost impossible to put this thing back in. You gotta, like, take out the whole motherboard just to turn, just to turn it. Just to turn and snap it back into the motherboard. And I think I broke one once trying to put it back in, trying to reinstall it. It is a really nice CPU. It, it's nice uh, heat sink. It's a really nice heat sink if you, uh, you know, considering the amount I paid for it. It was only like 20 bucks on Newegg. And uh, really gives me really nice temperatures on my E6600 overclocked to 3 gigahertz. It'll idle my E6600 at 20 degrees Celsius, the load is like like 40 degrees Celsius, so it's really good. And uh, yeah, you can see that. You should probably take a compressed air to this damn thing. It's uh, in fact, my whole Antec 900 case was just full of dust as I was putting the uh, as I was putting my Gemini in. So I took some, some compressed air to that to the whole case. So. It's clean now. Alright. Here it is. There she is. Still fanless. is not even very hot either. That's fanless right there. No fans on it. And my temperatures are... Let me get speed fan open here. Here's my temperatures. Sorry, that's bright. It'll adjust. Just give it a minute. Give it a minute. There it is. There's our idle temperatures right there. It's jumping all over the damn place. It's 18 degrees, then it jumps to 27 degrees and 22, then back down to 18, then that 30 degrees Celsius. But that's pretty good, damn good considering there's no, there's no fans on it. As soon as I get two fans tomorrow. Two hundred twenty millimeter fans tomorrow. It's gonna at least drop this down, and it'll even drop my North Bridge. All right. Next video will be the. Uh, me putting the uh, 120 millimeters on tomorrow. Right, take it easy.